The reason for the petition is because I feel that at this time the reasoning for the closures and who's being affected is um, not fair. It doesn't make sense um, due to the new rules that are happening with retail being at 25%. I recently read that uh, dogs, nothing against dogs being groomed, but that they can be groomed and yet, you know, restaurants and, and my fitness studio and other gyms along with hairdressers, we can't have one or ten people in and it's, it's unfair and health is important. Um, mental health, you know, you can go and buy a sweater to feel better and I'm not saying that that's not going to work for some people but, you know, therapy also comes in very much so going to the gym and working out those stresses both physically and mentally, not to mention that we're in a pandemic that affects your health mm -hmm. and we're not allowed to let one person at, at a time into a huge facility. Um, my place is 1,200 square feet and I can't have one person, but there's no regulations in retail stores to, at this point, I mean, you can pass 10 people in an aisle and some choosing to not even wear masks and what be, and if things made sense, I wouldn't have started the petition, but they don't. And I'm happy to follow the rules, we're safe, we sanitize, we've, you know, I speak again about restaurants, my, our, all the fitness studios and the hairdressers, we're doing everything we can to stay open, everything. Um, it, it couldn't be safer, I mean, I've got dividers in here, I spray, wash, sanitize, I know the same when I go to get my hair done, you can't bring your stuff in, you're wearing a mask the entire time, people can't come in with you, but yet in a retail store, I can just go in, there's no clicker, you can go down any aisle other than there's directions and there's numerous people being together and I'm done. The biggest thing for me is I do what I do because I love helping people. Um, I opened this studio in the middle of a pandemic, which I know probably doesn't make a lot of sense to some, but I did it because I have a high client base and I needed to make sure that they still had somewhere to go without them being cut out in other businesses to do their part for their business and I respect that and I needed to control the safety. I've designed the entire studio around a pandemic to keep my people moving um, and every time they shut us down, the thing that I worry about the most is seeing the decline in how hard somebody's worked or the sadness. They're like, we're going to go into lockdown again. I hope we don't. I can't stop. Like, this is all I've got. Or, and then you do your best to go virtual, but it's not the same. Barbershop owner Stacy Thornton posted this emotional response on Sunday to the news that she'd once again have to shut her doors to clients just two weeks after opening. I have stacks of paperwork of people that have to fill out screening questions. I have spent hundreds of dollars on ink and paper and PPE and everything. And I can't stay open. But you can go buy a pair of earrings. And I can't even afford my rent. I don't understand and I don't get it and I'm hurt and I'm suffering and I have the best support system in the entire world but it's not enough the government has to do something the government has to separate Muskoka from Simcoe we have had zero cases in the last two days and I have to shut my doors tomorrow for God knows how long. It is heartbreaking. Do you, like, you, you see all these people. Shut, my neighbor had to shut down her business and she had only been open for a year and a half and I sound like a hysterical psychopath right now. 